Hey, Josh from Brown Dog Gadgets here, and today we're going to talk about how to build the solar science station. We're going to go step by step on the tools you need and how to put it all together. Hopefully it won't take too long and you'll learn a thing or two. For this project, you'll need the following items. Scissors, a wire stripper and cutter, and a set of screwdrivers. Preferably small ones. Inside the box, you'll find quite a few different items. We have both electrical items and wooden items for the case. Make sure all the items are there before proceeding. For the wooden case, we have our two side pieces with their wonderful angles on them. We have the top of our box. We have our two mounts for the solar cell on top. We have our cross beam for the mounts. We have our back and front of our box. And we have the bottom plate. For electrical items, we have the following. Our LED voltmeter, our two power output plugs, we have our terminal block, we have our USB circuit, and we have some double-sided foam tape to keep the USB circuit in place. Additionally, we have a few other items as well. We have our bag full of screws and nuts. We have our solar cell with attached wires and attached quarter inch foam tape. We have a small solid core piece of wire as well as two long uh, stranded core wires, one black and one red. First we'll start by cutting the two long wires in half, both the red and the black wire. Do not touch the smaller wire, we're going to use that later, though if you want to, you can also cut that in half now. First, we'll be stripping the ends of our wire. We only want to do the two pieces of red and two pieces of black wire, the ones we just cut down. Those will be the long wires. That short little piece you cut in half, leave those two spots for later. Next. Grab your LED voltmeter. Notice there are three wires. The white and the red are both positive and the black is negative. First, you probably want to you know, break them apart a little bit and strip the ends. Do that for all three of the wires. At this point, strip the ends of the wires coming out the solar cell. Below you'll see both the solar cell wires, the three wires from our LED voltmeter, the two black and the two red wires all stripped on their ends. We can now hook them together. Take a peek at your USB circuit. Notice there's a positive and negative spot on your circuit board. We'll be using those with our red and black wire. Grab one red wire and one black wire. Twist the ends so they're a little bit more firm, then stick them through the appropriate ends on a USB circuit. Twist them into place like so. They should be nice and secure. Notice how they're hooked up and making lots of contact with the big uh, copper pads on the end. Also make sure they're not touching any other random parts. Now we're going to attach the wires to our two output ports. You'll see there's a little tiny ring there with a little hole in it. We're going to do the same thing we did with the USB circuit, but with the port. So twist the end of your wire together a bit to help get a nice, firm, very exact little end to it, and just thread it through and twist it into place. Do the same thing for the black output port as well. When you're finished, you should now have your USB circuit and your two output ports all wired up using all of the long black and red wire. Both ends of that should be stripped off and ready to be used in something else. Now we're going to thread the solar cell through both our connector on top piece of wood and the top of our box. This way when we wire things up, we don't have to remove the wires to hook everything back together. Just thread them through like so and uh, put them to the side. This is our four port screw terminal. 
Screw terminals are great because it allows you to hook things up together using only a screwdriver. Also will snugly keep them together for as long as possible. Now each of the four different port settings there will hook things up vertically. Horizontally they won't be hooked up but only the vertical ones together, like so. Two of our vertical connector spots will not be used in this project. As you can see here, all it takes is a very small screwdriver to hook things into place. Make sure your screw spots are all loosened up. They should be by default, but just double check. We're going to start with the positive wire off the solar cell. Put it through the hole and screw it into place. Grab the positive red wire from the USB circuit and the positive red wire from your uh, output terminal and twist them together nice and secure. Then grab the red and white wire off of your LED voltmeter and also twist those together nice and secure. Make sure they're all hooked up very, very well together. Now insert all of those positive wires into the opposite screw terminal from your red positive solar cell wire. Screw that into place. Now all of those are hooked together electronically. They'll conduct electricity back and forth and it made a secure circuit. Just give it a little tug to make sure it's all hooked together and very secure in place. Do the exact same process with all the black negative wires. So on the top we have all of our red positive wires and the white wire, which is also positive, hooked together. And the bottom we have all of our negative wires hooked together. None of them are touching and all of them are hooked up electronically together. On the back of your solar cell you'll see the positive and negative marked very clearly on there, uh, even if the wires are the same color. Now look at all the wonderful screws and nuts you have. To make life easier, lightly screw them together and put them to the side. Do this for all of them. It makes things much, much easier when hooking the boxes together and it'll make the process a whole lot faster and more simple. Just spend a moment or so and screw them all together so you have a nice pile of all those. Now take all those screws, once you have the gigantic pile of 22 to 24 of them, and put them to the side. If you haven't done so, Cut your small solid core wire in half. Do not strip the ends. We don't need to for this process. In fact, that'd be very bad to do. Now we're going to place the LED voltmeter into the front face of your box. Notice how it fits very perfectly into the front of the box from the back side. To secure it in place, use those two solid core pieces of wire you just cut in half and string them through. We're going to use them like twisty ties to hold it in place. It's a very simple process and if you really, really feel the urge to, you can add some glue on the back side, but it's not necessary. Once pushed together and twisted into place, it'll hold very securely. Once the LED voltmeter is in place, let's hook up the two screw terminal output ports. Just undo the two nuts on the back, as well as the round wire connector piece. Undo those, thread it through the two indicated spots, and screw them into place on the back side. Make sure they're very nice and snug, we don't want them falling off later. Now your front face should be complete, minus the USB port. We won't be doing that till the end, we can actually use foam tape on the bottom of our box to hold everything together. At this point, feel free to take this in the sun and test to make sure everything works. Now we're going to hook together the box itself. We're going to line up the tabs and use the screws to hold it in place. Please keep in mind, we don't need to tighten the screws up until the end. Tightening up ahead of time might make it more difficult as you'll squish certain components together and the fit might not actually be very tight. Just wait till the end to screw everything into place very securely. Start with the bottom and then the front and back and then the two sides. Make sure the S3 is facing outward. And again attach screws to all these points and do not, I repeat, do not screw them in with a screwdriver 
If you have to, lightly screw them into place, leaving a bit of give to them. Double check making sure all your screws are in place and the box is held together decently well. Watch out because even I forget sometimes, there are quite a few to do. Now we're going to make sure the USB circuit is held in place with our one piece of double sided foam tape. Take one layer of protective coating off the tape and put it right down the bottom right underneath where the USB port is. Once in place, peel the top layer off and secure your USB circuit on top. Watch out because this nice industrial foam tape, once something stuck to it, it tends not to want to come off again. If at this point you didn't thread your solar cell through the two large circles on the two pieces of wood, you're going to have to take apart your terminal block a little bit and thread those through. Hopefully you followed my advice at the beginning and avoided this. Now all that's left to do is hook up the final pieces. Put the top of the solar sign station box on and put the screws to hold it in place in. Lastly, we're going to use our connector bar and our two wings to keep the solar cell in place. Pop the two wings under the connector bar like so, then use two screws to screw them into place with the rest of the sign station. Make sure they're on the inside, not the outside, otherwise you won't be able to see our degree markings. Glue is also helpful holding that connector bar in place. Now to add the solar cell. Take out the two protective coating layers from the foam tape and pop the foam tape with the solar cell attached to it to that cross bracing bar. The foam tape is thick enough that it should pop up and be above the two cross connector pieces. Make sure you don't get any wires snagged into place either. Once your solar cell is securely attached to the top, you're finished. Just grab your screwdriver and make sure all the screws are nicely tightened into place. Remember, if you tighten them too much, you could crack or break the wood. So just don't use a ton of force, just get them nice and snug on the inside. For detailed written instructions, check us out on browndoggadgets.com or on instructables.com. We hope the solar sign station was an easy build for you and that you can now use it outside and have tons of fun with it. For any questions, please give us a shout out at browndoggadgets.com or our Facebook page. Thanks for watching and happy building.